it is very unfortunate that our dear Agnes is dead. But the service she rendered to this council cannot be overemphasized. No. 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 Therefore, wipe out your tears. And take off the mantle from where she stopped. I last saw you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm all right. You look <laughs> ravishing as ever. Oh, thank you. Um, it looks like time stood still for you. You haven't aged one day. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> You're now in Lagos? Oh, yes, sure. I actually, I run this outfit. This is your outfit? Mm, sure. I have the baby section upstairs. You've done quite well for yourself. <laughs> we thank God. Um, I came around to pick up some t-shirts, shirts, and maybe some trousers and ties. Sure. Uh, anything I can help you with? Yes, but may I have a word with you? Privately? Sure. This way. <laughs> something I've never quite been able to tell you. And seeing you today has brought back a flood of fond memories for me <laughs> and has made me come to the realization that you're the one thing that is missing in my life. Um, Princess, I have come to realize that Without you, my life is full of emptiness. Oh, death, Simon. <laughs> you still have... <laughs> you are this your worms. <laughs> Princess, I'm serious this time. I would be honored if you would be my wife. Will you marry me? <laughs> you, you can't be serious. <laughs> Princess. Listen, listen. This is all so confusing. I think you should give me some time to to think about it. Please. Okay. You can't be serious. Princess, I'm serious. Your Highness, yes. A young man made a marriage proposal to me. And I like him. What? <laughs> 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 
Your Highness. I am disappointed in you. You took after your mother in this royal council. And the power with which you are operating does not permit that you can get married to any man. <laughs> How? Your Majesty, my mother never told me anything like Shut that. Up. Whether she told you or not, you are not supposed to get married to any human being for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> How? It's not possible. Up. Don't you ever challenge me. Princess. Princess. <laughs> Princess has taken the tiger by the tail. This is too much of an insult. How oh, dare she, our founder, great Mbem Odzefu, will not forgive us if we fail to act accordingly. She must be punished. Her powers are stripped from her. These people must be joking. How can I remain single for the rest of my life? It's unthinkable. Princess, you are trying to make a big mistake. How dare you leave the royal council like that? Or do you want to incur the wrath of our leader? There was no use for my continuous stay there. I mean, how can I live all my life on earth without getting married? Then what am I doing here? I just came to advise you against that idea. Maybe you've not been told. Told what? Your father died many years ago. He died when your mother joined the royal council and the Egugu power was handed over to her. Are you saying my mother killed my father? I am not saying so. But the Egugu power in your mother killed your father. Because the Egugu power cannot live in the same place with an ordinary being. Then count me out. <laughs> Don't ever think of that. Don't ever think of that. Every one of us is a live member of the Royal Council. The only option is death. Every one of us with different power. Look at me. Just look at me. Do you know my mother died because of me? God. You killed your mother? I did not kill my mother. But the Mwamba power in me killed my mother. Now, leave my house. <laughs> Princess, you are too dead to us. Rethink. Get out! Out!
married to that young man despite all our warnings. Your Highness. Yes. Princess action is very insulting. She deserves a capital punishment. She really underestimated our ability and undermined our integrity. <laughs> you! Jabez! You will have to go and handle the situation. But your highness, she still has some powers. Of course! Her powers have been withdrawn from her. She is just now an ordinary being. <laughs> Go! And have no fear. Ha! This mom, like I said, there is no cause for alarm. From the result carried out so far, both of you have been confirmed fertile. I'm just worried. It's been over a year now and there is still no sign. Come on, this month. You just have to be patient and wait for God's time. If you say so, doctor. Look, princess, take it easy, okay? That's all right. We'll be in touch. Okay, doctor. Thank you very much. Take care. Problem. It's my son. He's been married for about two years. And the wife is yet to get pregnant. So I decided to come and, and find out what is wrong with her. <laughs> Just that? Yes, Baba. And I think my son is under a spell. 
because he's feeling no, he doesn't feel anything about the whole uh, idea. And he's all I have in the, wo in the whole world. What is it? You are very lucky to be here. Woman, you are very lucky to be here because your daughter-in-law is married to marine spirit. She's operating with a marine spirit. Marine spirit? Yes. Because she is married right in the river. And she has five children. She will never have any issue here on earth. Baba, what do you advise that I do? The only solution is for you to send her out of your son's house. Because her continuous stay in that house will be too dangerous, very disastrous to the family. So, woman, go now and send her out of your son's house immediately. Go! Yes. Thank you. Make sure you send out of your son's house immediately. <laughs> this is a job well done. <laughs> Since Princess has vowed to give us trouble. We will make sure that she finds no rest. <laughs> Desmond. Mama. Desmond. Mama. Desmond. I called you three times. I consulted a native doctor concerning your wife not being pregnant. And he made a startling discovery about her. What is the discovery, Mama? Your wife has a marine spirit. And she's married to a water husband with five kids. Five, Desmond. I mean, that means she can never be pregnant as long as she lives. Mama, I don't give in to such fetish and unfounded beliefs. I believe that my wife will conceive at the right time. There are no two ways about it. I said it. I knew you were under a spell. Something must be wrong somewhere. This one, you are no longer the son I used to know. Mama, you're taking this thing too far. This is my wife we're talking about. And I have the right to take the final decision here as the head of this family. I love my wife and she loves me. And the doctor has confirmed that both of us are fertile. So please, let's leave it at that. Please, Mama. Desmond! Mama, please leave it at that. Desmond! I am disappointed in you. You don't even have any regret for me again. Princess, what is it? Why are you crying? Princess, tell me, what is it? Nothing. Come on, there must be something. Princess? It's your mother. You heard her? I'm sorry. Princess, please. Listen. I'm I'm really sorry. You know the way parents are. 
I've been thinking, why don't we adopt a baby? It'll put an end to all this pressure. What do you mean, adopt a baby? It's the only way out of this problem. I don't think I like the idea. Come on, princess. I want a baby. You want a baby. All they want is a baby. And a baby is a baby, whether adopted or not. Come on, princess.
so glad that Jabez has completed the first one of her assignment. Mm. Your Highness. Yes. I have a confession, Lord. What is it? Barely that. Your Highness, mm. there's this woman in my ear mm. who disturbs me with her prayers every time I want to go out for spiritual life. She pulls me down and renders me powerless. Mm. Your Highness, for more than two weeks. Ha! Two weeks now. Two weeks! I've not been able to operate. Ha! Then... She must die. Nobody does that and goes scot free. She must die. here immediately. I want that bastard dead this night. And I'm sending the three of you now. I'm expecting the feedback within 30 minutes. So, go. <laughs> Your Highness, that woman is using some dangerous powers. And the world we are almost consumed by fire, Your Highness. Oh, 
Because of this fake preacher, the don't touch Christ me again. We thank you for this journey. And Lord God Almighty, we glorify and magnify your holy name. Father, we commit this journey into your mighty hands, O God. And we come against every principality, every power, and every spiritual wickedness in the high places. We bind them in the name of Jesus. No devil shall have any control over us. Every incantation, every sorcery, every witch is a witchcraft, we find them in Jesus' name. We cover everyone in this house with the blood of Jesus. We cover the driver with the blood of Jesus. We are all blessed in the name of Jesus.
Not again! But, but do you know anybody amongst the dead bodies? Not quite. But can't you remember that at this very spot last year, a terrible accident occurred and over 30 people were dead? That's true. I remember. There must be something wrong here. I think so. God, this God. is terrible. May God help us. May God save us from the hand of the wicked people. Honey, you're thinking about this thing too much. I've told you to stop worrying. We'll try another hospital tomorrow. I'm tired. I'm just tired. The stress is so much. In the past six months, this child has been taking us from one hospital to the other. And there's been no improvements. I'm just worried. I'm just worried. Listen. I'm worried about it too.
Jazzy! Uncle. Jazzy! <laughs> Uncle, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> When did you come back from Lagos? Yesterday. I just raised him yesterday. My God. How's, it? How's your family? Everybody is fine. I can see that you are almost through with your house. <laughs> you can go. When are you intending to go back to Lagos? Uh, yeah. I hope there's no problem. No problem. No problem. You see, Ike, I have not set my eyes on Ike since this year. I'm sure, I'm sure he's busy wherever he is. Uh, let, me, let me give let me find something for you. Man. Fine house. It's a fine car. We thank God to <laughs> Uncle, please. Um, don't bother yourself. Don't bother yourself. You still have a big work at hand now. How can you do this? It's alright, it's on huh? my hand. Hey. Thank you so much. May God bless you. The money. Put the money here. That wicked boy has been progressing alone in the village. I want you to poison his money so that he will fall back to poverty, <laughs> never to rise again. Put the money here. Good. It is done. <laughs> <laughs> he will never see progress in his business. <laughs> and that house will never be completed. <laughs> this money is already the point of contact. <laughs> and if he proves stubborn, he will go like the others. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of a bathroom is this? Thank you. 
Why didn't you even ask me why they call me my pa? <laughs> a lot of gist, my dear. A lot of gist. It smells nice. You made it yourself? Yes. I know you. Your Highness. Yes. It is done. Take her to your position. Your Highness. Yes. The man I wanted to initiate proved so stubborn. I was at the final stage of initiating him when he called on the name of Jesus. <laughs> That them here. <laughs> you must go back there. We need him. As it pleases your majesty. <sighs> Ada, I wouldn't want us to continue repeating ourselves. I know if my elder brother was still alive, he wouldn't allow you to get married now. He would want you to finish your education. But uncle, we are not getting married now. He just said he would like to meet you. I see. Well, there's nothing wrong in seeing me. But if I may ask, is he a Christian? Yes, uncle. Good. Well, I would want you to commit everything in the hands of God. Right? And there's one thing you are going to do for me, and for yourself. Right? Let me have his picture. 
right, so that I can pray over it always as I wait on the Lord. Uncle Ha, I have the pizza now. Good. Let me have it. This is Uncle. Oh, he's a handsome young man. I hope he's a good man. Yes, Uncle. You sure you've made a good choice? You sure? Yes, Uncle. Good. Now, Kada, let me advise you. There is nowhere you can get refuge except in the Lord. So you keep on praying, always. Never stop praying, right? And I also will continue praying for you over this man. Do you understand? Yes, Uncle. Thank yes. you. Yes. Thank you. Uncle, I'll be going. Fine. And please, don't stop praying. Hmm? Thank you, Uncle. I'll be praying here too, eh? Okay. Thank you, Uncle. Oh, what a fine man. She wants to get married to this man when none of my daughters is married. Never! Never! Kohi Marashiraka. Kohi Marashiraka. 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 Marashiraka.
What is it? What is wrong with the, the engine has knocked. How? But we used the car yesterday. I don't know what is really happening. I changed the oil yesterday, but there isn't even one drop of oil. And yet there's no leakage. Oh my God. What are we going to do now? Eh? We have to take him to the hospital. Oh. Do something. Um. Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Now leave we get our kind of Lagos. Take your easy with me. Okay? The job. <laughs> Man. It's been a long time. Long time, long time. So what is happening to you, George? Where is your car? At my car. Ah. Things went too rough. I had to sell my car. How do you mean George? I mean, it is so sudden. What do you mean, George? I could remember you were into importation. So how manage? My container came back, and I okay. I decided to go and get it out and spent all the money I had okay, trying to get it. My friend, go now. Now let you begin and talk for Lagos. Okay, well, give me my change back and go and beg. And the uh -huh. as I was saying, is it the container gone land now? Make I go spend some money. Now I have to away all the money where I get. Where container? Where my money? Jesus Christ. Now you get this one now. <laughs> George. So, George, so what, 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 what was really going on? It was terrible. Okay, I came back home and my landlord ejected me. There was no money, so I had no option. Then to resort to... If I don't like thinking about it, I don't like talking okay. about it. Um, listen, George. We need a serious prayer. From the look of things, I can see the hand of devil in the ghost story. I'll do something urgently. See me in the office. I, I, I don't have your card. Yeah. Thank First you. in the morning. Thank you. <laughs> George, George. Joe. So, I go come. Hey, first time I come. Yes, okay. Okay. I must come. Okay, see you. Yes, sir. Mark, can you go where they go? I'll leave you. Well, talk about you, yes. you know, you know, you know why they talk to this? Now, because now you did it. Now you did it. Now you did it. Father God Almighty, I pronounce liberty for this one who the negative forces have sought to bind. I pronounce liberty and I set him free right now from any demonic influence in his life right now in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. Father God Almighty, I just thank you as we stand upon the authority of your word which says that no weapon formed against your children shall prosper. Your word also says that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that of the truth and indeed Jesus Christ is Lord. Well, thank you, Father God Almighty, as I cover him right now in the blood of Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. I cover him right now in the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. And thank you, Father God Almighty, because more than we have asked for, you will do. Because we have asked in the name that is above every other name, the name of your precious son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we know that we have the victory. Amen and amen. 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 Please go up, young man, stand up. Huh? Stand up for the church, eh? Yes. It is well with you now. Thank you, Pastor. The Lord revealed to me that the bondage that the enemy had put you in, the financial bondage had put you in, is broken in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
the shackle of financial bondage that the enemy sought to bound and bind you in has been broken by reason of the anointing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, I want you to think back a while. Do you remember giving any old man some money in front of an uncompleted building? Uncle, please. Ah, um, don't bother yourself. Don't bother yourself. You still have a big work at hand now. How can you do this? It's all right. It's eh? from my heart. Hey. Thank you. Thank you so much. God May God bless you. you. May God bless you triply. Hey, you. wonderful. Okay, yes, I think I remember. It, w it was in my village. I, my uncle, I. I gave him, I think I gave him 500 naira when I went to inspect my uncompleted building. <laughs> While we were in prayer, the Lord revealed to me that uh, that man that you gave money to is actually a witch. And what they did was that they used the money you gave them as a point of contact to get at your finances to fizzle it all away. But we thank God. That God has done it again. Amen. I gave this man this money just to, just to help the man. Why are people like this now, Pastor? Look at my uncle. He's a very, very old man. He doesn't have anything. I just wanted to help him, Pastor. Brother Jay, don't you understand? That man was a witch. And witches are like their master, the devil, with just one aim to kill, to steal, and to destroy from the children of God. So they don't take any pleasure in the progress of anyone. If there's any word that they hate, it is progress, especially the progress of the children of God. But we thank God. The enemy's devices have been laid bare, Hallelujah. and God has wrought a victory for Hallelujah. you. Amen. Amen. Now, I want to give you some advice. Yes, Pastor. Because there are witches all over the place and their operation is very rampant, you must be very careful when you want to give out money. I'm not telling you not to be charitable. In fact, the Bible encourages you to be charitable. But anytime you want to give out money, make sure you cover that money with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. You do that all the time. I'll do that, Pastor. All the time. It's well with you. Thank you, Pastor. You're going to bounce back mightily. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, I can just see what the Lord will do. Amen. Thank you. Thank you will you. bounce back. Thank Amen. you. God bless you. Brother Joseph, thank you very much. Huh? Thank you, Pastor. Bless you. Thank you. Enjoy it to be all right.
But I changed this morning just yesterday. Joe, just what are you trying to imply? What I'm saying is that the problem has become so much. And I'm beginning to feel there is a demonic attack in your family. Demonic attack? Yes. All of you should see a living pastor now for deliverance. Especially for your child because he's always sick. So, Pastor, it's been one affliction after the other. There is an urgent need for both of you to give your lives to Jesus Christ. Because going by the testimony that you have just shared with me, I can tell you categorically that none of those things constitutes God's will for your family or any family for that matter. What? Young man, we have a big problem on our hands here. How, Pastor? This child, I'm afraid to say this, but I have to. This child is demon possessed. Pastor, what exactly do you mean? The Lord revealed to me that this child has been the source of all, practically all the afflictions that your family has been through in the recent past. What are you insinuating? This much. I've told you this before. These people are all a bunch of liars. Shut up, princess. You are talking to a man of God. Man of God, indeed. Princess. Pastor, please accept my apologies. It's all right. 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 What do you advise me to do now? I have a very urgent assignment for you. Before I can go into the deliverance ministration proper, I would like for you to do this little something for me. What assignment? When you get home today, between midnight and 1 a.m., I want you to wake up and be on the alert and keep an eye on the baby. You can do that? Yes. You do that for me. I'll do that, Pastor.
princess. 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 Yeah. Wake up, wake up. What wake is up. it? What is it? Wake up. Where's the baby? Come, come, come. I'll show you something. Where did you get the come. baby? Wake up, wake up. Come now. Where's the baby? Come, come, come. Come, come. I'll show you something. So you can't believe what we saw. Yes, that's, uh, that's okay, that's okay now. Where is the baby right now? In the house, Pastor. Why didn't you bring the baby along? I... Ah, Pastor, we can't touch that baby again. We just can't. Why not? It's your child, isn't it? He's not. We, ad we adopted him when we couldn't have a child of our own. I see. But, but regardless, we must see that baby immediately. We just must see that child immediately. Now, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go. Now, hold on, let me get my jacket, huh? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right now, I release Holy Ghost power to take control of the situation here right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oh, Father God Almighty, I thank you for the threefold anointing, the power in the blood of Jesus, the power in the name of Jesus, and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Right now, Father God, I command confusion into the camp of the enemy in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oh, Father God Almighty, by the power of your name, I command every foul and evil spirit that has taken possession of this innocent child to lose their hold right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I say, lose your hold in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Lose your hold in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oh, I command confusion into the camp of the enemy right now. Confusion into the camp of the enemy right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And right now, Father God, I sprinkle this entire house with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. <laughs> I sprinkle this house with the blood of Jesus and come against you right now in Jesus' mighty name. I command all these foul spirits to go back to where they've come from in Jesus' mighty name. Against you right now, Holy Ghost fire to come and go and consume them right now in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! Consume them in Jesus' mighty name! Consume them in Jesus' mighty name! Holy Ghost fire! Consume them in Jesus' mighty name! Every blood sucking spirit of witchcraft, I come against right now. Every principality causing the spirit of witchcraft, I come against you right now in Jesus' mighty name. Consume them in Jesus' mighty name! Holy Ghost fire, consume them in Jesus' mighty name! for one minute that that thing you call a baby was a real human being? That was a spiritual entity straight from the pit of hell with only one mission in life. What you adopted from the motherless baby home was not a real baby. 
that was a spiritual entity with one mission alone, and that was to torment and frustrate your family for as long as both of you may live. Pastor, is it now wrong to adopt a baby? No, it, it, it's not wrong. You see, but um, while I was praying, a very remarkable revelation came to me. And I believe I have to share it with you at this time. You see, um, it was revealed to me that your, your wife was initiated into witchcraft by her late mother when she was a small child. She really didn't have anything to do with it. She was a child initiated against her will by her late mother. You can see she's completely broken and she's been set free from the spirit of witchcraft. You see, when you propose to marry her and she was instructed by the witch's coven not to accept your proposal, but when she damned the consequences out of love for you and went ahead to marry you, they swore members of the witches' coven swore to take revenge upon both of you. Both of you became a marked couple, marked for destruction. And that thing that you adopted was supposed to be the instrument of your torment and ultimate destruction. But thank God your wife has been completely delivered from the spirit of witchcraft. And that kingdom of witches has been completely destroyed and annihilated. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Brother Desmond, brother Desmond, look at her, she's your wife, and she's completely broken. She's been delivered from witchcraft. Don't do this to her. She damned the consequences and married you. You need to love her in return. Brother Desmond, it will be well with you. All you need to do is accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, and it will be well with you and your family. And both of you will start your life afresh as new creatures. That's better. 